usually put the vocabulary words in red and then the translation in black. So kindly, Elisheva, would you read us the vocabulary words? There are four vocabulary words and their translations into English. Yeah. Uh, Sara, which is Sara, the no. wife uh, uh, of, uh, of Abraham. No, actually, this is with a tsadi, tsada, tsada. Tsada, it, yeah. It, it's, not, it's not the name, it's not the name of Sarah. Sarah oh. would, start with a, would, would start with a, a sin. Okay, okay, but, so is the rival, is the rival wife then? Right, so tsara is when, when a man has two wives, the wives are generally rivals of one another for the attention of the man. And, and so the word sar actually means suffering or sorrow. And, and the word sara actually means the rival wife, because if you think about it, the rival wife gives sorrow to the other wife because they're competing for yes. the man. Okay, continue. Yes. Nice. Meaning? To um, anger. Right. Next. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had someone here. That's why. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's why I'm good. Uh, so that one is uh, Ram to Tanda. Right. And lastly, and, uh, Tagar to Shot. Nice. So we're going to look for Sara in the verse. Here's the verse. It's verse six. Can you see the, the word Sara? It might not be exactly the same. We might have lost a letter or, or changed a letter, but can you find the word that includes Sara? It's, uh, yeah, Sara, it's, it's Sara, it's Sarata. Well done, Sarata. That means her rival. So Sara is the rival wife and this Kamats, Hey, with the dagish inside, the ah is the feminine possessive. So tsara ta is her rival. Very nice. How about ki ace? Can we find ki ace, the kaf ayin samech in the verse? Uh, ki. Can I see the the, the let the word again? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got it, okay. Okay. Is... Kisa... Kisagar? Um... Nope. No. Have a, have a look at the first line. Okay, okay. Kiasa, kiasata. Yes. Yes. And she angered her, or caused her to be angry. This is, this is the treatment of Penina against Chana to anger her or vex her over the fact that poor Hana hasn't had any kids yet. And then the, 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 the last word in the first line is also this gam kaas, verily she angered her. Oh, and so um, I wanted to dwell just a little bit on this, um, this uh, phraseology in Hebrew as one of the advantages we have to learning the Hebrew uh, as opposed to just looking at a translation. Uh, Joseph, are you are you with us still? Yes. Would you be kind enough to recite the verse for us and then I'll try and give a little bit of an explanation about uh, the usage of kaas. Kindly, Joseph, if you would recite for us. Okay. The key Asata, Sarata, Gam, Kaas, Ba'a, Vu, Har, Ima, Ki, 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 Sagar, Yahweh, Bead 
Rahimah. Beautiful. Biad Rahimah. Uh, because of her her womb being shot. So the translation or a translation could be and Penina vexed her rival wife, namely Hana, Gamkaas, uh, frequently, repeatedly, Ba'avur Harima, in order to make um, Hana thunder or groan or moan, in order to vex her, to make her sigh in her sorrow. Kisagar Hashem, because Hashem closed the Adrachma, basically because Hashem had closed Hana's womb. So Penina was tormenting Hana about the fact that she couldn't have kids. We have a repetition of the word Ka'as, uh, which indicates a frequent occurrence and an intensity of occurrence. We could have just had the Chiasata Tsarasa, and Penina angered her rival wife and left it at that. But instead we have Gam Ka'as. Verily, she repeatedly angered poor Hana. And Rashi, which, who, who is a medieval commentator that uh, we used to help us understand in our Jewish study of the Bible, talks about this phraseology, Gam Ka'as, also anger. He says, what it means is anger after anger, that is, always. Therefore, it is written also, Gam, anger. Panina would say to Hana, did you buy your older son a cloak today? Of course, there was no older son. Panina would say to Hana, did you buy your younger son a shirt today? And of course, there was no, no uh, younger son. So it was the frequency and the intensity of 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 Hana, of Panina's chiding against Hana, which we learned. There's a hand up, please. I, oh, okay. Let me let me uh, be part of the meeting and and recognize the hand. Yes, Elisheva. Um, about Kisagar, I want to know what's me Kisagar because I can uh, see a connection the name of Agar, the, because Agar was, uh, was, was Sarah, Sarah, uh, oh, 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 you're, oh, I know you're thinking of Hagar, the rival wife to Sarah. Yeah. So that's an interesting, an interesting connection, but, but the word Sagar means to shut or to close. To shut. Okay. Yeah. So but want, it, yeah. connect, the rival huh? to Sarah what? was Hagar. Right. Is there any connection or not? We, we see the, the Gimel and the Reish. Uh, we don't see the hay. But yeah. I, I, would, I would not say yes, I would not say no. I, I would say that there are instances where two of the letters are... Uh, when when two roots you know share two letters in common like hagar and sagar both have the gar that there could be something to that i don't i never learned it so i would be making it up elisheva but you might you might have something there it would be worth exploring further what does sagar mean sagar means to to shut or to close so um and I don't know. I don't know what the Shorish Hagar means. The, there's a Shorish Gar or Gur, which means to live. Um, but we could work on that. We could definitely work on that. Um, very nice work, uh, and 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 food for thought. I, I really appreciate that very much. Let me just um, rejoin the group and congratulate everybody on. On, on a lot of hard work, a lot of good work today. Um, I see that Maija, you stick with us. It's just wonderful. And I, I hope that when Johanna's here, there might be some chance to encourage you to recite. Uh, Trevor, I think we know what we're about. I'll send you that audio and we'll make good progress. And uh, Gideon Joseph, as always, thank you very much for your support. 
thank you. I find the meaning of hagar. It means That's all got. of uncertain or uh, foreign. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. For, foreign. Yes. In other words, she was she wasn't really of Abraham's Abraham's kin. Yes. It means foreign because she was e Egyptian. She was the princess of e e Egypt. Her name, yeah, her name means foreign or uncertain of uncertain. I see. Yes. Very cool. Very nice. Interesting. And uh, okay. Great. So you said like a cigar yeah. is uh, to shut. So it's okay to shut the door. You say 